All right, let's get you caught up on the details of this approaching rain. And I want to time out for you what to expect from this from tonight through tomorrow. First off, here's what it looks like now in high def Doppler. You can see a good band of green sitting out there. But what's interesting about this is as we switch our view, instead of looking at it at the live high def Doppler, I'm going to put it into the future cast and you're going to see a little more show up. This down here. So it's a little too far out off the coast for any of the radars to be able to read, but the high powered forecast models are able to see it. This is the rain coming for us. The better rain is here and up there. This is going to be a quite impressive rainmaker, like from the far northern California border with Oregon and up. But we still get in on the act from this stuff down here, and let's play that forward. Holds together, and by the time we get to about 5 o'clock, we're starting to see some rain on the Mendocino coast. But it's really not until we get into about just after sunset that we start to see the more noticeable rain show up in Sonoma County. So there's the first step in our timing. Once we get past sunset, it's going to start raining in Sonoma County. And if we watch this as that line we were just looking at, this is the kind of storm where you're going to be able to time out that line, march its way progressively southward across the Bay Area. So if it starts in the North Bay around 9, by the time we've gotten to around 6 a.m. tomorrow, that line, here it is, starting to break apart, but you can still see it, is now starting to work its way across the Bay Area, right through the heart of the Bay coming in through the Golden Gate. So that's what it looks like 24 hours from now. We'll see the rain coming in right across the center of the Bay Area. And then there's that line again by Sunday afternoon. This is how long it's taken it for it to get all the way down here now to the South Bay. So as we get towards Sunday afternoon, that will be some of the better rain down in the South Bay. None of this is going to be terribly heavy. But it's going to be a slow marcher. So we will get decent rain amounts out of this, particularly in the North Bay. Now that covered Sunday. Monday's a little different. Monday we don't have that organized line anymore. And what we have are these scattered pop-up showers which can pretty much appear at random anywhere in the Bay Area. And some of these will come in the form of an isolated thunderstorm perhaps. And if you get one of those, then you get a good brief little downpour, maybe even some small hail. The chance for that's relatively low, but the ingredients with this are just enough we can't rule it out for Monday. So that's the possibility. And if we look at the rainfall totals on here, there's the rain tonight for the North Bay, but now I'm going to add in Sunday's rain. And you can see this gets Bay Area wide, but heavier rain up north, a little bit of rain for Sunday down in the South Bay. And then we'll add in Monday's showers. And by the time we finish this, we've picked up perhaps as much as a half an inch of rain or a little more in some of the locations for the North Bay. And then we'll start to clear things out pretty quick, actually. By the time we get into Tuesday, we're done. And then we start to warm back up. And by the time we get towards the end of this next week, it's like it never happened. It's going to be sunny and 80 again for inland locations, low 70s, much like today for the Bay. But it'll be rainy around here, particularly. And to your question earlier, Devin, the timing on this for most of us really is going to be throughout the day on Sunday, but it really gets going Sunday morning and then extends throughout Sunday afternoon.